So are there any side effects with immunotherapy? When you attempt to do something unnatural with your body and redirecting the immune system to fight cancer is not a natural thing. We have to fool the cells into recognizing cancer. And so we're asking the, tumor cell, the immune cells to be over-exuberant and we're also impeding your body's natural ability to slow down the immune system when the job is done. So there's some spillover. And you can get side effects that look like autoimmune disease, where the cells go a little bit crazy and start attacking normal tissue in your system. And uh, immunotherapy sometimes can lead to uh, skin disorders where you lose pigmentation. Uh, your immune system can go a little bit crazy and affect your colon, and you get diarrhea and crampy belly pain as if you had something called colitis. It can affect your um, uh, endocrine glands. Not everybody, but it sort of mimics what's called autoimmune disease. But typically those are manageable afterwards. And the, the, the benefit that patients are having is patients that normally wouldn't respond to chemotherapy or radiation or responding to immunotherapy, the price you may pay are these sort of autoimmune side effects. But in the grand scheme of things, when you're weighing, and that's called equipoise, the benefit, the cost, from a cancer patient's perspective that has no other option, it's a, an acceptable price. And there's a lot of research being done to now that we're getting some good effects to curtail the side effects as well.